about the precious humanity of our Palestinian brothers and sisters. And I don't want you, and I'm saying this to myself too because my voice is about God. I think of the many years with the great Edward Zaid, who I was blessed to know and work with and struggle with in the 1970s and 80s and 90s until his death 2003. And here it is, 2023, and we're still raising the same questions, but the difference is there's a new day when it comes to the struggle against Israeli terrorism. Israeli apartheid of Palestinians, Israeli ethnic cleansing of Palestine. It is a new day when Edward Zaid and our dear brother Noam Chomsky and Edward Akbal and so many other freedom fighters in the 70s and 80s raised our voices. We felt as if we were so isolated and all by ourselves. Look at all of us today. In Asia, in Latin America, in the Caribbean, not just in Chicago. It's a new day. And it's also the ending of a decaying American empire that thinks that organized greed and weaponized hatred and routinized indifference to the vulnerable be they poor people in America, be they folk wrestling with mass incarceration, be they workers who have to struggle 62 percent wrestling with paycheck to paycheck every month, 40 percent of children who are black and brown and indigenous living in poverty in the richest nation of the history of the world. That's a crime against humanity, but the crime of genocide is even worse. And we have to be able to make the connection. So our critique of the American empire, our critique of predatory capitalism, our critiques of white supremacy, our critiques of male supremacy, our critiques of any hatred of anybody, be it Arabs and Muslims, be it Jews or black people, be it gays or lesbians, be it anybody who is made in the image of the God as myself as a revolutionary Christian coming out of the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. and Fannie Lou Hamer and Dorothy Day. to be in solidarity with each other across the board. It is not a question of what color your skin is. It's not a question of what your gender is. It's not a question of what your sexual orientation is. It's not a question of your national identity. It's a question of what kind of human being are you going to choose to be? When you get real tired and weary, when you get down and out, when it seems as if the blues has completely saturated your soul, don't get discouraged. Stay encouraged. Be of great courage. And always know, always know that those who rule who will try to divide and conquer us are more and more shaking in their boots because they know it's a new day in terms of the awakening.